Today we're going to use a Weeble distribution probability plot to fit a Weeble distribution to our data. So you can see up here this is the equation we developed it really in the first video. You can notice that it's the equation of a straight line with our y equal to the natural log of our random variable and then 1 over b is our slope and then this monstrosity equation as our x and then the natural log of a as our y-intercept. So the first step we want to do is we want to plot y versus x. In this case it's going to be the natural log of a random variable versus this right here, this equation. So let's go back over and see what we have. So in the previous video we looked at the exponential distribution and you can notice that uh, really in order to fit it to the Weeble probability plot all we need to do is take the natural log of this from the exponential distribution so if we do that we'll get a series of values And if we plot that on the graph, you can see here we got our data on the graph and we fit a straight line through it, then we end up with y equals mx plus b in this form where this first term is our slope and this is our intercept. And then this is our r squared value, which is really high. I mean, it's a good fit and you can visually tell it that it is. So we're going to go ahead and verify these numbers by calculating it using some Excel functions to make sure that we did our analysis right. So we're going to calculate the intercept and the slope first. So we're going to borrow from the log normal distribution because we have the natural log of a random variable on the y-axis there. So that helps us out a little bit. All we'll have to do is change it from z to this right here. So let's go ahead and select those. So we're going from Z to this column. And the same for our slope. And if you compare the numbers, we get the same values. I mean, of course, we rounded to three decimal places here, but we get the same values. So now, we need to determine the two unknowns, um, B and A, where B is our shape parameter and A is our scale parameter. So to do that, we simply just do, to find B, we do 1 divided by the slope. That will give us our B value. And then for scale parameter A, we just raise our intercept to uh, the exponential value. So E E to the intercept. So now that we have our shape parameter and our scale parameter, we've pretty much uh, determined what Weeble distribution best models our data. So now we can go ahead and determine P10, P50, and P90 using our best fit line. So all we're doing in this case is we're just calculating this value right here given a cumulative probability f. That's all we're doing. So we're a VBA function for that. It's called Weeble inverse. And it will take three parameters. It'll take our scale parameter. And you're going to freeze that. Our shape parameter freeze that in our cumulative probability value. So there we have it. So we determined our P10, P50, and P90 using a Weeble distribution. And that kind of concludes what we're going to do here, uh, or the, the series, the statistic analysis series, where we're modeling our data with distributions by using straight line fits. 
and you can see if we go compare these distributions the Weeble distribution did a great job because the R squared coefficient is is close to one the exponential distribution did a poor job but it depends on the data you get right so you really have to um, when you do get a statistical data set you have to uh, look at all distributions and so we have our log normal which did a pretty good job R squared is close to one but worse than the Weeble and then we have our normal distribution which did really well and then our uniform distribution which turned out to be the highest value actually no the Weeble distribution <laughs> turned out to be the highest value so um, you can see uh, that's how we do it and I hope you understand what we were trying to accomplish here we were trying to essentially fit distributions to our data set and pick the best one and then determine these our intercept and slope values in, in the parameters that are important to that distribution that we're looking at and then we can go once we know that we can use that distribution and run Monte Carlo simulations uh, to account for uncertainties and get a distribution of data that uh, basically covers a range of, of what the true answer could be. So I hope you kind of understand the big picture there. I know there was a lot of mathematical labor through these past um, five or six videos, but you know this is pretty cool because it's we're just using straight line fits to to come up with um, our best fit distributions that will help us mathematically model or incorporate um, this math these mathematical models into a uh, more rigorous engineering analysis so um, we'll apply this going forward um, you know I don't know how soon that'll be but I will show you an application of this we already did an application using Monte Carlo simulation where we applied a uniform distribution but we're actually going to go in and, and look at actual data to come up with what distribution is best represented by the data and then run a Monte Carlo simulation to determine you know stuff we're interested in so that was a long-winded explanation of what's going on but um, I'm sure if you don't understand it go back and watch the video and uh, if you look at it a two or three times I'm sure you will um, be fascinated by why this is is really cool so guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time adios